so I'm Vincent, so uh, I hope I ended up along with this, the introduction to the Elasticsearch. And before we get started, I will just put up this slide so, uh, such that uh, you can actually choose whether you want to hear this talk or not. So what I'll be doing today is, uh, <coughs> this talk is really for developers, uh, but no matter your front end or back end. Uh, because I think Elasticsearch is mostly used in web, but uh, actually it's more like that of fan stuff. Yeah, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, we are talking about uh, what are we here, uh, doing here today. So, uh, I don't assume you have much knowledge in Elasticsearch, of course, and also search NoSQL HTML5 for Java. But I, I guess you have a slight uh, idea about JSON and REST code, but even you don't pass, it doesn't matter. So, uh, I will talk about those basic concepts and uh, from different perspectives and show you a demo how can we add a search feature to our website, for example. So again, this talk is the introduction, we, we will go uh, further deep. So uh, see uh, whether you like this talk, and I think uh, I will start right now. So um, again, my name is Vincent, so I'm a Java developer uh, at, at a bank, and application developer, but again in Hong Kong, that means you're more an application rather than you are a developer. So um, I do Java at day and JavaScript at night, so life get better at night, yeah. So, um, you can follow me on Twitter and I do pop some technical posts as well. Yeah. So that's about me. And uh, this slide will be available in this um, <coughs> shortened URL. And I ever know as well actually. So uh, I am still modifying this, so uh, I will keep up updating. Yeah. So yeah, back to Elasticsearch. So um, why is Elasticsearch so interesting? Because it's powering a lot of uh, application. Most famously is the uh, fact here, you know. Here is GitHub and also SunCow and yeah, Set Overflow and to demonstrate, yeah, let's have a real, real demo. So yeah, we, we all know that uh, GitHub support uh Search, but um, what makes the search very powerful is that you are really searching against every line of code. So uh, you can type include here, which is very common for uh, several languages. So you can see really this, the whole result is like, I don't know how to get yeah, product it, anyway. but uh, how can they render such a search result so fast? Because they are, we are talking about millions of lines of code. And personally, I have a check whenever I, uh, I've been working on some frameworks which doesn't have a very good documentation, I will just try to find any cheat here. I didn't mention which frame, but yeah, you can always find some examples over here. Yeah. So uh, this is really useful, and you can see they are really offering a very powerful uh, service, a search engine. And yeah, that's why I would like to talk about it today. And for me, the other thing for, for, for any people, when I first uh, get Yeah, search. what I feel is that I see something like this. Yeah, so is it a bird? So is it a pen? No, it's a superman. So Yeah, search is a superman. And you you don't really know what is it actually. So the first question is Yeah, search a search engine? Yeah, of course. And um, yeah, according to the official pitch now, you see the festival and hard open source distributor, real time search, and analytics engine for the cloud. And if you go to the official website, there are even more passwords. So you can get real time data and analytics, distribute the high activity, multi tendency to test search. Big data? Big data in some way, actually. Yeah, open source, of course. Uh, yeah, and the operation persistent, but you still have no idea what is this, right? So, yeah, and that's why I put up this uh, talk and this slides to show you more, more idea of it. So yeah, before we go into talk about what is a search engine, we have to have some idea about search. So one minute. So you won't look for a number in a phone book that is sorted by names, right? For example, you are looking for five, uh, one, 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 but you open the phone book, you, you never find it, right? So in computer science, we have the index. So yeah, there's uh, 30 seconds about search. And then one more level, yeah, as uh, Google as an example. So 
we are very uh, very familiar with it, and then what we do with Google is that we enter our search keyword, and then this query will be sent to the Google database. Uh, but of course, Google database doesn't exist just for you to search uh, directly. They have a crawler uh, that have spiders all over the world uh, to spy their web contents and then put up this uh, tiny simple uh, kind of simple stuff. But of course, we know uh, Google is very very complicated, and if you see the Elastic uh, search case, it is the beauty of uh, Elastic search is it adds something like Google. It is a kind of back box. It hides all those complexity details. And then now we have a website hosting a web server, say from Cat or Jetty or something. You are hosting your website. They send the query to your Elastic search instance server, and then they will provide you the result. And then of course, uh, again, you need some caller to really call against the input. Uh, it could be web pages. It could be anything. I will talk about uh, more later. But that is how Elasticsearch uh, position. So and then for more into search, we are talking about Latin style automata and affinity state transducer. No, we're just kidding. So, but this is to give you an idea. Search can be very very complicated. Search is really hard because uh, uh, if you talk about your indexing a document, you need to analyze your language, you need to think about how to put up that index structure in a very efficient lookup manner. It is really, really hard and that's why you have that's why Google is so successful and no one can really copy it because it's, there are a lot of lots of complexity here. And again, um, the asset uh, search ability is that we hide all those details. So we are talking about the world of uh, search. So today we are here, what we are doing is to add a search box to your site. But you can go much further, so <coughs> you ask you can uh, scale for the enterprise level count what this uh, GitHub is doing. And then you can also hack the Lucinic Core, the uh, open source library under Yasek Search, to really to improve the search, to optimize the search for the world. If you can do further, you can have the next Google. But uh, we will stop at the today. <coughs> so <coughs> before we talk about Yasek Search to um, we need to understand what exists before this uh, Elasticsearch. So actually in the Apache, uh, Java, Java open source world, uh, you have a very uh, competent search stack. And the first thing is the Lucina. So it's responsible for the core indexing search library. So what we turn documents into the very complicated index structure is done by this library. And then I guess uh, some of you have heard of Hadoop, right? So anyone? So Hadoop that is doing web videos. Uh, this is originally not, you can say, not that related to search, but uh, you can see actually this, uh, these two libraries are from the same guy, Doctor's uh, cutting, which is a very smart guy, and then yeah, he, he also had the Nudge here. Nudge here is putting everything together and then form the uh, VA full-scale full search engine. Uh, I think Yahoo is like having 15% similarity with the machine that is Doctor's is hired by Yahoo as well. And uh, there are more stuff, there are the solar, because uh, what I said, the Arctic search is more like a database, so you need to have a uh, web server to host that data to, uh, to have the query, queries being input and to render the search result, right? So a more comparative component with the Arctic search is this guy, this, uh, this solar, which can yeah, uh, accept queries and give you back the result. The Lucina is only responsible for indexing. It cannot answer your queries uh, in that efficient manner. And then we have uh, one more thing, the Apache Ticker, which is uh, responsible for parsing those documents. For example, if you have a PDF, you can hardly imagine you just put it there and then the ASX will do everything for you. First. So you need to really break down that document and then turn it into at least JSON to get it analyzed. But yeah, is this what exists between, uh, before the ASX search? And Elasticsearch uh, take this core, take this Lucina, and build on top of it. So, uh, so far, any questions? No, it's alright. So, uh, then why why do we yeah? So Elasticsearch is nice, but why do we search uh, at the very beginning? And why do we do the Elasticsearch? So, uh, I think any famous or popular paper that they're, uh, they're answering a use case that is needed by many applications. So, for example, AngularJS. Uh, they said 9% of application are CLUD, and that's why they are really desired for that, and that makes them successful, popular. And I would say most applications are also a good fit for a search-based navigation. And of course, many other applications will need a search feature anyway, especially uh, in nowadays we are so familiar with Google or 
uh, stuff like that. So uh, again, uh, live examples. So by uh, search-based navigation, I mean uh, something like hotels.com, cheap uh, advisor, and open wise, uh, you name it. So uh, it is unlikely that you see a hotel and then you book your flight and then you go there for a vacation, but you won't do that. So you have a kind of, I want to go to Paris, I have some idea about when I, when I, uh, I check in, when I, I check in out, and then I can search. So it will give me some results about uh, uh, any hotels that are uh, interesting, I can choose from. And there's more than that, after I enter all these uh, search queries, we got something like the uh, facade search. Yeah, so uh, I think the Wi-Fi is not working very well, but you, you can see the screen here. So even during the navigation, you can like having different filters, you can like score this, you can uh, filter by the waiting, and you can yeah, filter by the location, money, yeah, many things. So this is what I mean uh, for the search-based navigation. You don't really build your uh, UI around anything but search. So uh, yeah, compared to the old days where you have an explore view and then you see different things, and, but now we don't do this. We start from search. But, uh, yeah, we, from the very beginning we do search. And yeah, the official time is called the set search where you can do all those filters. So and the Elastic Search is really nice for yeah this kind of stuff. Yeah. So again, you look closer. The Superman, um, if you look closer, it's not really what you have thought of. So it's something like this, a flying machine. Yeah. Then we have more questions. So is it a pen? Is it a bird? And then is it uh, Elastic Search a caller? So because I just uh, set the question uh, about by by itself it won't work, right? If you go back to this diagram. You need some someone to give the input. It is responsible both for the indexing and uh, query and rendering result. But at least someone is going to give it the input. So uh, and yeah, and that is actually very easy to be done. So I can show you some uh, live demo. Uh, but by the way, my Elastic Search is already running. So actually, as I said, there is a West Pro API, so I can just simply. Uh, start the Elastic Search in my local, and then I can use uh, do all those uh, REST for API call here. So uh, you can see it is it is running. Yeah, uh, I will explain more details about what this is. And what I want to do is to show you something like uh, search. So by now I didn't search for anything, so that means I'm searching for everything. And then uh, here I all those data into it. So I will start over, I will firstly delete, delete all my data in this uh, search engine. So I just enter the rest code call. Yeah. I just put a curl request and HTTP request deleted. And then uh, for the Elastic Search to have anything to be stored, then you first need you need to create an index. So here in the case, yeah. Oops. So here I just created an index and I also will create a mapping. So let's 
go back to uh, here. You can see there is one data being put here. So it's really like a database. So it's really like MongoDB, CouchDB. So you can add as a database and you put data here. So what I did about the mapping is that because uh, if you go back to the uh, data, this data, this JSON data, and we have like many key values. So what should the Elastic Search analyze each attribute? For example, how should this uh, how should they analyze this location? So we can specify in this mapping. Yeah, here I specify it uh, as a geocon, one of the data type, and then other or others as a string, for example. And then it will add, it will index uh, by that kind of data type accordingly. So this is uh, the very simple superficial so uh, view about the Elastic Search. Is at least how it works, how we can put data into it. So the caller, uh, let's get back to the topic. The caller is a uh, responsible for, uh, for this thing. Let's go back. Uh, so yeah, we mentioned that search engine there should be a call. So you can have a daemon, you can have some yeah, uh, some program that is keep fitting this kind of JSON input into Elasticsearch and then all this data will be kept by the Elasticsearch and then ready for queries. So, um, but there yeah, is also another option. So when if you are having the MongoDB or CouchDB or even Dropbox, so usually there are uh, this kind of NoSQL database that provides a change or delta that um, usually uh, if you put a new record here and then it, the first time you get the change it will be all the records and then the second time uh, it, it gets only the latest record that has changed since the last batch. I hope you get the idea. So um, you, if you have such a fit, there is many plugins called the Reaper, for example, CouchDB Reaper, MongoDB Reaper, that can be added to the Elasticsearch, and then you just contact it, and then it will automatically fetch all the new data. So you just forget about it, Elasticsearch, forget about it. You run your Mon uh, application, MongoDB, you just keep pushing new data, and no worry, all those data will be indexed by the Elasticsearch afterwards. So, if, so back to the question is Elasticsearch. A caller, so yes and no. You can use this plugin, but you can also write your own yeah, demand for that purpose. Purpose. So yeah, more documentation about this yeah, here. And then yeah, I keep mentioning the ASIC search can add as a DB. So is yes a DB? It's a hard question. So uh, yes, actually it really has all the database features. So it has transaction. I have a pretty sort query that type storage in my cache. Yeah, so it is actually a database, but it's not decided for to be a database. But it is be uh, much better than many databases I've ever <laughs> used, like HubDB. Yeah. Uh, so the better question will be asked is Elasticsearch yes, good enough as a database for my application? Uh, there could be some um, security concerns, and there also could be some. Um, scalability concerns, but basically I think that if GitHub can do so many search, if you, you are unlikely to worry about that. But of course there are uh, some really like bad videos in CouchDB cannot be reproduced in Elasticsearch, yeah, but I think most applications will find it good enough, but you need to do uh, security checks and things like that. So, and if you have a comparison with uh, like other database, so there's uh, no eventual consistency. Um, this uh, typing very deeply, but you have all this ID generated. You can have like versions for each document. But if you really treat it as index, you need to keep updating, right? Otherwise, it will be obsolete. So it is designed for that purpose. So usually, we only care about the latest record. We don't care about the past history. So uh, if you if you are using database for that purpose, then CouchDB or MongoDB may be. And yeah, this for the CAP diagram, which is unlike CouchDB, is uh, more for the consistency and not availability. And yeah, and it supports a very nice replication model, which I will talk about later. Uh, later. So, and then the other search, uh, is it NoSQL? Then this question is definitely yes. And it is right because it is NoSQL that uh, it becomes so useful in the uh, big data. So, uh, if you read the book about the no this uh, no SQL by the Martin Fowler and uh, the other guy from uh, 
take data comparison between the key value and document based uh, approach. So both of them are like uh, uh, NoSQL. So key value you think of radix. So you have key one, value one, uh, key two, value two, right? And by document based is something like this. You have a JSON stored directly in your database. Yeah. So it is CouchDB and Elasticsearch. And why it's because they have such a structure, it is very easy to analyze what is really a, a document about. Uh, yes, when we do indexing, we, the input source is, could be many things. For example, it could be like a, a very lengthy blog post, many, many characters, many words. And how should we analyze that? Or it could be like this, like a geopon, something like this with all this uh, longitude latitude. We need the document structure to give us some idea and also the mapping I just showed you uh, earlier to give the Elasticsearch to get a great to analyze and to index. So that's why uh, this is good approach. I mean document based is good approach for the uh, Elasticsearch and it's also very easy to scalable for the big data because if you try to do this in the uh, database like uh, in Oracle or in, in uh, MySQL then what you've done is uh, many MySQL John tables, but I think personally Elasticsearch is more about what you want rather than how you do it, so you don't have to worry about those John and uh, uh, like design or something like that in the NoSQL world. And so this is really a cool, cool stuff in the NoSQL world, Elasticsearch. Yeah, and the document is stored, it's not only the thing you, uh, you, you see here, because actually, you, the, the thing you see here is uh, most likely a JSON file, and here is exactly the same as my input. But actually, there are more than that. So here is what you will get by searching. But uh, under the skin, uh, there are many indexes that, that file based the index that has been created for this uh, for this purpose. You won't see it in this document, but actually, there are more documents created because of this document. But that is quite uh, complicated. So, and what can I index is basically anything, as I said. And as long as you can transform it uh, into something uh, Elasticsearch can understand, which is a JSON compatible. No, it is uh, compatible, not necessarily JSON. So, if you really uh, want to do some JSON transmission, you know you will know that like several formats like. Uh, Bison in MongoDB and uh, and Smile and binary JSON format, but Bison uh, is actually not JSON compatible. So that yeah, there is some keyword, but uh, you may not need to worry about. But as long as you can put your content in, in the way something like here, then you can put it into Elasticsearch, which I could show you now. So uh, this time I will try to put some other stuff to index. So firstly, again, I will just uh, say this mapping. And then, so, yeah, to give you more idea about uh, what we are doing here is that we have some news, for example, or your website, you have some uh, blog posts and you have the content here. So, for example, uh, here you have some uh, text here, and I, now I would like to try to search against this text. So the first thing we need to do is to index it. So as long as you can, yeah, for example, this source could be from PDF, but as long as you can put it into uh, JSON, then you can put it into Elasticsearch. So I, I just put it into Elasticsearch, and now I can search it. So yeah, you can see the record here, but I, actually I didn't search for anything. Uh, let me give, I put more record into it. Yeah. So uh, there are two, a uh, few records totally. And uh, I can see, for example, I, I want to search, uh, oh, are there any news related to the uh, to government? So I will query government. You can see now I only get this record because you can find the word government right here. And it works for Chinese as well. So it has by default the local language support. So you can, what is what I, what I mean by uh, indexing? So even this didn't show up, so you can find this record here, but Actually, how we did that by uh, having a keyword, a term we call in search, uh, like here, uh, government or government, that is because we have created an index for this test. It, it has been analyzed by the Elasticsearch. Yeah, so, uh, 
the whole story is as long as you can convert it into a JSON and then you can put it in Elasticsearch and then you can kill it by any term that is uh, inside. And the analysis, as I said, is very complicated. So, for example, if you are trying to search for word third, you won't find it, although it is in the test, because uh, there, is, there are probably some stock words which is too common to be, have any value, so they will just fill it there. So, this is one of the features of uh, analyzing order. So, uh, so, only by this you can see it is very powerful. You just put stuff in and then search it. And, yeah, and this is of course, a natural fit for document or render database because your coach TV is already JSON and then you just like, put it in this really uh, no brain. So. And then, okay, so a, another question. So it is a web server. So as you can see, yeah, it's kind of a web server. It has all the RESTful API and there's even a plugin that you can hold some static HTML here. So you can even search a website from the Elasticsearch. And of course, make use of all these uh, search features. And I think what makes Elasticsearch really good is the RESTful API. It makes things much simpler. Otherwise, what I have been showing you, you need to write a lot of Java API before that, uh, you see in libraries. But now you just need to give a put request, uh, get request, and get what you need. And, and then, yeah, there are actually two models that can be done. So the first model is what I've shown you. You have a web server hosting a website. You query against this uh, search and uh, this stuff. So now I will start my uh, web server. Yeah, by, by the way, I one minute of the advertisement. So uh, the application I've been showing to you is an open data project. So it is built for uh, showing uh, a, a, to try to have many light pollution problem in Hong Kong consolidated into kind of database and I've built a website to, uh, to, to show all the spots in the map such that we can have some uh, uh, we can understand the problem and then we can have some media pressure on all those problems. So um, this is the website I'm talking about and then so now I'm trying to yeah show all those spots. You can see it, there is one test data here. So uh, the JSON data I've been putting is something like this. So uh, and I can search in this website. So let's go back to these models. So you can either use this, uh, so in, in this case, this web server is in my local, right? So you can either issue requests from my web server and then back to the Elasticsearch, which is, uh, which is also on the same server. So for, for example, if you put it into uh, Amazon, so these two things can be on the same, same um, index machine, and then the browser is of course in another machine, and then you kill it first to the web server and then the Elasticsearch and get that result. The second model is that you can also have this, uh, have the browser directly talk with your Elasticsearch, which makes things really, really nice. So it really depends, but of course there is another security issue. But, uh, so, but, but what I mean here is your browser is, uh, is directly curating the uh, Elasticsearch, getting the content, and which is also this, uh, this case. Yes, I have many AngularJS here that is uh, issuing the uh, queries. So to show you more realistic approach, Put some test data into it. So, after the test source, so we got more data. And then, yeah, we got more data here, and then uh, we can sort by the uh, time. For example, I'm still building this website, but you can. You, you know what I mean is that uh, this JSON, uh, we can do a check of all we have done. That is that you can either, either search by the sort by time, search again this attribute, search again even the location by distance. Because we have the latitude and longitude, here, you can search by the relative distance against yeah, all, all this stuff. So, what the question we have been talking about is, uh, is there is a, uh, I swear, it's elastic search is really a database. And is it a web server? So my child in this Hong Kong Light Pollution Map project, so the earlier version is that actually I used a coach TV and then I used the odd weaver feed that has been feeding data for search. But now in version two, I try, I'm trying a new prototype approach is that I use Elasticsearch for the database as well. So this, this, I think this project is quite small. I don't have, I don't want to maintain another stuff and other stack. So now I only have the web server and the uh, Elasticsearch and then 
the all the data is actually surfing by Elasticsearch directly. So uh, if I can show you some um, some code about this website, actually you can see. So this is Angular. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you know it or not, but I will show you in, in the logic here. The controller is is actually. What we are, we are doing is that we have some JavaScript binding and then we are putting, keep putting search requests and filter requests and directly to the Elastic Search and then we get all those properties. And this thing can be happening in the client side or in the server side. So I don't need to have to deal with the database, but I simply get all those stats that we have, uh, we have been keeping in the Elastic Search. And it is very native, uh, native match because here what I'm writing is JavaScript and the Elastic Search is doing JavaScript uh, JSON, right? So you, it's really easy to do, and I think this is really a kind of fun yeah, to gain from such a such a stack. And yeah, I also have another project with uh, this Elasticsearch, but uh, I'm not sure if I can show. You. Yeah. Is, yeah. This, is it uh, GIS aware? Uh -huh. Is it GIS aware? Like. Uh, could you say, give me all the spots for this region of the map? Yeah, yeah, this is uh, the check I'm trying to implement here. So you can see uh, I have a location filter that is one child, and then actually uh, this is corresponding to a, a function call, which I actually I only give the uh, coordinate of one child. And then, uh, for example, in Calvary, I get the coordinate of Calvary. So I'm not searching by because my record has Calvary in it, but I'm using the one child's coordinate. And then to query again the Elasticsearch, again, oh, so which record is closest to this, uh, this board? Calculate the instance and give me back the records. So all these are supported inside the Elasticsearch, so I only need to query it. Okay. Not by area, so th this is a specific spot. Right? Yeah, actually, that can be done by the understanding. Yeah, yeah actually, that can also. So it is really powerful because if you are trying to do that in an Oracle database, then you take, it really takes some time to take much more application logic. But it is why because the Elastic Search has so many features: search, uh, uh, query, geolocation, and yeah, sort. And then you just need to give them the query that will give you back the results. Yeah. And then see. Yeah. So see if I can show you one more. This is a little bit uh, different model, so I didn't use the Arctic search as my own database because this project is uh, by itself uh, actually a search engine. So yeah, so I, I'm actually building a project with the Arctic search that search against all my uh, file system and Dropbox, so I can get all those files here. So for example, yeah, you, I'm just typing a file name and then you have you got all this stuff here, and you can even have those facade search filters and stuff like that. So. And this is actually AngularJS library with the Arctic Search, so it's really, really great. Yeah, I think time is almost up, so let me have a quick conclusion. So, um, again, search is really hard, but uh, but I think after you've seen this, just try it, right? It's really easy to start, although it's, it's very hard because the Arctic Search has done everything for you. And then you can, uh, yeah, yeah, actually, I didn't talk about what makes it really powerful is for the higher probability and scalability, just like what you have did. So, it is like a model that you can. Uh, buy a Linux and then put a Elastic Search, buy another Linux, put another Elastic Search, and then make it a cluster automatically, do nothing, and then watch this video, it will show you, and then you just don't worry about it, just keep putting your data and search. So this is the most powerful part and what it distinguishes with the old technology search stack. Yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, that's a lot. So
have some like more, can you show me more pictures like this one to me and again this is handled by the architecture inside they did some kind of clustering but actually the, the computer science problem of uh, doing something uh, the data structure of index and the data structure of clustering they, they can they can uh, kind of quite related but it's really hard to put them together so it's really complicated but at least you have something like more like this that can give you something like product the uh, collaborative filtering like what you see now so by default you, you just sit there and you call it here yeah. so any other questions? what's the disadvantage of using Elasticsearch for um, the thing you're back in database for your website like um, you said you either have the choice to do two or just use you're moving to using just Elasticsearch you mean use it as an database or as a database? Yeah. yeah, for me, because I, the, the first reason for me is I don't want to keep an database. So it's only, it's yeah. only disadvantage that I'm using. Disadvantage? Uh, anything you miss? So far, I don't find a lot. Because I, I don't have much experience. I only have experience in Couch TV. If, if that is the case, then you can't you can really do the map videos. Uh, in the, that's what you can do in Couch TV, but you cannot uh, do it in Elasticsearch. Also, the storage overhead could be higher because uh, Elasticsearch is designed to store the index, but not the source document itself. So yeah, if you like keep putting your PDF into it, then it's come up some kind of overhead. But they have some uh, compassion algorithm. But I believe the Couch TV in that case could be better because they are designed to store and yeah, to observe. Yeah. But they are doing really, really well because they have also like in-memory uh, cache for like fast security response and that. that's why they can, they can do real time and analytics. Yeah, they can, you can even warm up this database and then, yeah, uh, and then it will really serve really quick in the server and that's yeah, So what's the replication strategy? Uh, the replication strategy? Uh, can I show the video? Uh, but it's uh, I guess it's <laughs> Not easy. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, just go, oh, go watch this. Go watch this uh, video. Just for this, I can do understand this. Yeah. yeah. So thanks a lot for the day. Yeah. Thank you very much.